If you're looking to get high in a capital city, then look no further than Quito, Ecuador. At nearly 9,400 feet above sea level, it is the second highest capital city in the world. I even managed to get super high at church. More about that at the end of the video. I came here mostly to see what life was like on the equator, and I can tell you there are a lot of interesting characters here doing sketchy things at night. Which is understandable, based on the plethora of craft beer bars I saw in the Marsakal district. Only catch is they don't open until later in the day. It's like a ghost town until 8 p.m. And it rains here by the equator basically every day without warning, so people have their umbrellas as they're getting wasted. And if you do manage to go out on a dry night, you'll find all the bars are playing loud Spanish music, so I wouldn't exactly recommend Quito for its nightlife if you are an American tourist like myself. What I can recommend though is heading south to the historic district during the daytime. There are a couple of plazas you can check out, it's pretty cool actually, and there are a few small bars and restaurants you can go to to get some refreshments. The interiors of these churches in Quito are absolutely breathtaking, however all of them ban photography, but they didn't say anything about video. And the surrounding area is kind of cool to just walk around in. You've got timeless cathedral architecture intermixed with modern architecture like from Banco Internacional. There are a few parks around here too, which were really nice. The parks in Quito are some of the best I've seen in the world, much better than New York City's. They even had this art sale going on on Sunday and there were a lot of good pieces. I didn't buy anything because I can't exactly fold it up and put it in my suitcase. Well, I guess I could, but that wouldn't be a very smart idea. As for safety in Quito, I was glad to see a police force. Here they all were in the morning doing their calisthenics. So this would be a great time to commit a crime while they're all in one place. But seriously though, I did feel very safe in Quito during the day. I did not go out at night, like say past 9 p.m. because I'm by myself. And I also did my best to blend in with the locals, such as by wearing pants, which is why I had to go to the shopping mall here. That's right, before Quito, I've only been traveling with shorts. Even though it wasn't that cold in Quito, by wearing shorts, I stuck out like a sore thumb, making myself an easy target for any criminal. Anyway, so I just bought some jeans at this mall and they were like 50 bucks. Don't expect to get a big South American discount just because you're in Quito. Everything's still kind of pricey here. And just north of the mall is an even nicer park with a running track, football field, workout equipment, all these soccer fields. I don't think dogs are allowed, but that didn't stop this pet rabbit from coming to the park. They also had this old abandoned airplane covered in graffiti or art, if you want to call it that. And then just north of the park are some more pedestrian plazas. It looks like there's a lot of shops and this is where people probably work. So they come hang out here after they're done working. I don't think it's a huge tourist hotspot, but you're welcome to come check it out. Now let's talk about the highlight of my trip, was how I got really high up in this church here. It's called the Basilica, and it's just north of the Central Historic District. It's pretty easy to find. And if you pay them $4, you can climb up to the top here. You have to go up like 20 flights of stairs and you'll get to the inside of this clock tower. And after a few more flights of stairs, you'll get to the top of the clock tower and you'll be rewarded with this beautiful view of Southern Quito. Over there in the distance is a statue of the Virgin Mary. You can go there, you just need to take a cab to get to the top of that hill. I heard it's worth it, but getting in a taxi is too much work for me, so I just took a photo from over here instead. And then looking north, I saw all these people climbing these stairs to get high on this tower. I was still technically higher than them, but it looked like they were having a lot of fun, so I went over to join them. You have to walk all the way down to the 10th floor where you'll find this bridge that actually runs over the old church. And if you have a fear of heights, you're really not gonna like this next part. You have to walk up these two steep stairways. The view is about the same, except you can see the two clock towers, which differ in time and neither of them were correct. But it was a really fun time and I'm glad I got to see the top of the towers. So that's it for my time in Quito. I feel like it's not a huge tourist hot spots like some of my other videos, but I'm glad I went. I got to see what life was like there. It's pretty laid back and again, the parks are one of the best I've seen in the world. Thanks for watching until the end and please subscribe if you wanna see more.